Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Future Farm Drone Rodeo in Pendleton, Oregon, and we've got something big on deck. This is the R-Max from Yamaha. <laughs> I can't wait to see this fly. Let's get out of the way. It feels much like a basic radio-controlled helicopter, uh, or closer to maybe the, the um, quad drones that are out, the DJIs and that kind of thing. Uh, so it's fully stabilized, but all of the sticks are just basic mode 2 radio-controlled sticks, uh, and you're guiding the aircraft around. So it's doing all the stabilizing, and it's doing all the flying, uh, but you are controlling where it goes. Instead of kind of the high-capacity fixed-wing or helicopter manned um, prop applicators. This can get into much tighter, much lower areas. Uh, it can really pinpoint where we spray. It also minimizes drift and overspray. In the future, yeah, the way to get one of these aircraft would be to go through first FAA approval and gain the authority to fly one. Uh, it, the jump between 55 pounds and 200 pounds is large, so the FAA is not just going to put a blanket approval on something this big. So you'd start there uh, and then you would have to go through the FAA Part 137, which is Aerial Application Certification, and then your local DPR or pesticide regulation, uh, get that license. And then you would have to start approaching Yamaha to set up a lease and maintain the aircraft and that kind of thing. Uh, it's a lot of fun to fly. It's not your normal job. Uh, it's not quite as exciting as a full-scale crop duster, but that's what makes it safer. Um, but it is fun, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a cool feeling, you know, you kind of feel like a rock star flying this giant helicopter. So.